Welcome to this ministry update for Iglesia Biblica in Torcha or Cornerstone Guatemala. Today I'd like to be able to encourage you by informing you about all the different changes personally that the Rusi family and the Mudge family are making and having in this time. We are preparing to be able to sell all of our things, leave our jobs, and move to Guatemala. So in the selling of our things, we're preparing our cars to be sold and we have had a church sale or a sale of all of our possessions at the church property. We are beginning now to look over all of our personal possessions and try and think through whether we're going to take that to Guatemala or not. We are resigning from our jobs or have resigned from, I've resigned from my job and Lee has resigned from his job. and. Those are big changes for us personally. Our wives are preparing the homes. They're preparing and packing. And we ha now have a home in Guatemala that the Rusis have signed for. And we're excited to be able to complete all of these logistical things to be able to prepare us for Guatemala. One thing that is very impactful about looking through all your possessions and considering how life is a vapor. If you read in Psalm 49, in verse 10, it reads, For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their houses will last forever, their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, though in honor, does not remain. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish, of their posterity who approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall be consumed in the grave far from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave." for he shall receive me. In Psalm 49, it teaches us about wisdom and foolishness. Foolishness is when you plan all of your possessions as though they will last forever. But wisdom is that when you look at the things that you have and to look at your life, eternity, heaven, hell, and to weigh out all these things in light of God, salvation, and the life to come. We're gladly selling our things and laying them down for the cause of Christ because we want to have this kind of wisdom. We want to be able to gladly lay these things down so that we're thinking about eternity. It's the least that we can do in light of what Christ has done. So please pray for us as a family that we would gladly be able to deny ourselves and lay aside the things that we want so that Christ may be honored in the life to come. Thank you.